Our next category is that of individuals. As we mentioned, this is also known as teaching one-to-one. -one. It forms a very large part of the ESL teaching market. Teaching one-to-one -one has some positive and negatives about it. Perhaps the main positive is that because you've only got that single student, you're only ever working at one level. So there's no chance of any mixed ability with one student. Perhaps the main potential negative point, if we're not careful, is that there is very little dynamic with only two people. That means that you as the teacher will quite often have to become involved in the actual lesson process itself. So here are a few ideas just to bear in mind when you are teaching one-to-one. -one. Firstly, because you only have one student, it is quite important that before you actually start the course, you do some form of needs analysis. There's an example of a needs analysis in your unit, and if you have a look at that, you'll see that the idea is to find out what the student already knows, what they are going to need to know from their English learning program, and then you can then, from that needs analysis, start to create a syllabus. Another thing with teaching one-to-one -one is that it's quite important that you concentrate your teaching on their interests. There is a potential with only one student for it to become quite boring, so if you focus your teaching around the areas that you know they're interested in, that will help to keep your lessons exciting. Also, despite what the student may think that they need, it is important that you cover all of the skills. They may want to try to avoid listening skills, but it's important for you as the teacher to make sure that they get an equal coverage of all four skills. With there only being one person, it's also very important that you vary your activities as often as possible. And within that, we may even say to vary your approach, not only your activities. So the way in which you try to teach should be varied as often as possible to try to keep it fresh.